Hey guys, so I don't normally do unboxings, but for this one I partnered with Omen to unbox the new 2020 Omen 15 for you and give a little bit of a tour which I'll follow up with my full review in the near future. So let's rip into it and see what we get. Right then, Omen definitely toned down the hardcore gamer aesthetic, giving it a new subdued, minimalistic look with this new holographic badge on the lid, and to be honest, I'm really digging this new look. It's 0.9 of an inch deep and weighs just under five and a half pounds, so this will be really good for students lugging around those already heavy boulders on their backs, but also for light travel and not too gamery that you couldn't get away with it in more formal settings like funerals, weddings, business acquisition meetings, you know, the usual. Seriously though, don't bring gaming laptops to funerals or weddings, they will get more than strange looks. Not that I'd know. We got three USB-A ports, a USB-C with Thunderbolt 3, awesome, HDMI, network, mini display port, audio combo jack, and an SD card reader, nice. Now the configs will vary a little depending on where you're purchasing yours, but the config I was at comes with the Intel Core i7-10750H, NVIDIA RTX 2060, the standard version, not the Max-Q as far as I can tell, Schwing! 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig SSD with 32 gigs of Intel Optane. The 1080p IPS LCD display comes with an awesome 300 hertz refresh rate, which might sound overkill when paired with the RTX 2060, but at 1080p, it really depends on what games you play. And from what I can tell, colors look awesome when both gaming and watching content. Plus, if you're not using headphones while doing either, you'll be listening through the downward-facing stereo speakers tuned by Bang & Olufsen. Now, the keyboard deck's aluminum with this patterned air intake vent running the width of the deck. The keyboard itself has all your multimedia keys across the top, plus a shortcut to the calculator and the Omen Command Center, where you can customize a four-zone RGB light but also monitor the system's performance and temperature, customize your network bandwidth priorities, set your fan speed, performance mode, and switch between hybrid or dedicated graphics. Lickety split. The click style trackpad's got a glass surface, so it should have some good finger glide. It's a good size, and it appears to be running Synaptics drivers, which I have had problems with in the past. So far, it's been fine, but I'll want to give it a good finger rub before I can say for sure. Looks like they've made upgrading and maintenance super easy with only eight screws to remove, and the bottom panel popped off for me with almost no effort. In fact, you could probably just use your fingernail, so shouldn't have to worry too much about broken clips. We've got two M.2 SSD slots with one of them already used up by that Intel Optane drive, the soldered on Wi-Fi 6 card, the two RAM slots, which can be upgraded to 64 gigs, and the 70.9 watt hour battery, which should see some okay battery life, but I'll have to give it the old college try and let you know in the review, and don't you worry. Try college I will, college try I will, nope that one's not happening, I'll test it out. Now apparently they've done something new with the cooling and they've given it a fancy name, Omen Tempest. At first glance I don't really see anything out of the norm, but it does have some good intake and exhaust venting along with some big boy fans. And even though I'll still need to make this puppy sweat with some stress testing, based on the numbers I'm already seeing while making this video, they've definitely done something right here cause the temps seem to be in check, frame rates are high, and the fans are moving a ton of air. As you can clearly see by my highly tuned and reliable scientific test that most certainly didn't involve me spending 10 minutes cutting and taping toilet paper to the back of the laptop, only to forget to switch out a slow motion to show how fast the strips were actually blowing. Well, there we go. Uh, I have to say, so far I'm impressed with what I see. It seems like a pretty sweet laptop, but like I said, I'll put out a full review in the very near future, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, you can always check it out by hitting up the links in the description. But that does it for this one. Uh, if you liked the video, maybe show me some love with that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.